when we last saw Devin, he, he had just gotten married to Ellie mm -hmm. and fulfilled that, that dream. Um, he also sort of found out about Chuck's secret life. Um, were you happy to be included in the, the circle of trust last season? I was happy to be included in the circle of trust, but at the same time, you know, I didn't know what to expect from that. I didn't know if we're coming back for another season. I didn't know what was happening at the end of the, the last season. So when we did come back, my wheels started spinning. And I started saying, now what? Now where can they go with this? Either they're going to really bring me into it or they're going to kill me. And thankfully, I'm just involved in the spy world and I'm not dead so far. I mean, that seemed to be for a lot of people watching, that was sort of one of two possibilities was yeah. that now that Devin knew we would no longer be seeing Captain Awesome, which people were very upset about. Mm -hmm. And fortunately, the reverse was true. Um, how surprised are you to be back working on the third season? You know, I'm not surprised because of the fan. Uh, I, the fan support has been insane. It's like somebody told me at my son's swim class today that they were driving in San Francisco and there was a house with a big banner outside saying, be awesome, watch Chuck season three. I was like, that is some pretty hardcore fanaticism right there, if that's even a word. Jamie French, can you uh, tell me is fanaticism a word? <laughs> Google that for me. <laughs> Anyhow, it's hardcore fans, how about that? Uh, and it's, it's amazing, it's unbelievable. And uh, so you would just assume that we would come back and do a lot of episodes when we have such hardcore fans like that, but... Um, you know, it's like, I guess it's a whole numbers game with the Jay Leno coming on TV, taking up a lot of time slots, NBC's trying to figure out where everybody fits, and I'm just glad that we, we found a place for now. I mean, is it strange, you know, obviously you guys are shooting now, I think you're on the fourth episode, mm -hmm. um, that these episodes won't actually air until March? Yeah, that's what, I mean, it sounds like uh, we won't air till March unless something crazy happens and they change up the schedule, which can happen with any network, as we all know. Yeah, but there's also, uh, I don't know, because for us, that's always how it is. We're always shooting ahead of time. So who knows? Maybe they're going to change up the whole way that they're doing network TV and air us through the summer and keep us rolling. So uh, we don't think too much about it. We're just involved in the world of Chuck. Uh, and it's just, you know, it's probably strange for the fans more than us because we're here. We're in the thick of it. We're doing it. Um, but it'll be weird to not be on fall TV. Can we expect to see him sort of become the doctor for Team Bartowski? Well, I'm not just the doctor for Team Bartowski. I'm brought into the spy world, and, um, and you know, hilarity ensues. It's just, it's a fun place for Captain Awesome. It's kind of like watching season one all over again through a different set of eyes. You know, when you had Chuck be introduced to the spy world, now you have Captain Awesome in the spy world getting to do all those things that Chuck was doing and uh, along with Chuck having his kung fu abilities and the new intersect in his head and everything else that it's gonna it's just gonna be an insanely entertaining season. So, so is Devin trading his stethoscope then for a gun? No, Devin, they, they won't let me handle a gun, are you kidding me? I, the, I can just give you this much. I want to be in the spy world. I mean, just naturally you would think that Captain Awesome would want the most challenge, uh, you know, most challenging experience that he can get. Now, how much they bring me into it and what happens, I can't tell you. You'll just have to watch. In a lot of ways, Devin seems to be sort of a platonic ideal in terms of a heroic character for Chuck. Um, do you think that Devin, will we see him rise to that? Well, the problem with, the problem with Captain Awesome can be that he thinks he's awesome at everything. And because of that, it can, his, his greatest strength could be his weakness as well. <laughs> we'll just say that. And then if the, if the writers could take Devin anywhere in the third season, where would you like to, to have him go? Um... It's a good question. I think that I'm just enjoying the ride right now of being involved in the spy world. And the more I progress in that, I think that it would be a lot of fun to get into the buy more, get into working with uh, Josh Gomez a little bit more, having some of the comedy that uh, they've been doing such a great job of writing for us. So if we can bring those two worlds together a little bit more, I think that would be fun for me.
obviously one of the, the main components of um, Devin's character is his relationship with, um, with his wife. Mm -hmm. Are we going to see sort of cracks form in that relationship now that he is keeping a lot of secrets from her? Well, yes, probably, but not, not cracks that he would like to see form. I mean, at the end of the day, you want to root for the couple. We're the one solid couple on Chuck. You know, we are the one couple to root for and make sure that we preserve that state, that that family that, you know, keeps everyone together. So um, I'm sure that there will be cracks in there, but hopefully they're not too big. We, we like Devin and Ellie together. Yeah, we don't want that. We wouldn't want that, exactly. Uh, and then what's one thing you can tease us about season three? The one thing that I could tease you about season three, um, yo, the one thing <laughs> I can tease is... Nothing is what it seems. Nobody's safe. <laughs> Hopefully the intersect doesn't come through the television set into your brain. No, you